Hello everyone, my name is Todd Jensen. I am a researcher in the Jordan Institute for Families in the School of Social Work at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill, and I am the author of the article entitled Patterns of Interactions Between Youth and Resident Stepmothers, a Latent Class Analysis. Just to provide a, a little bit of context for this study, if I were to pose the question, what is a parent and what does a parent do? I think many of you could come up with an answer fairly quickly. Now, if I were to ask you, what is a step-parent and what do step-parents do? I think there would be some ambiguity there, and I think there would be probably a, a wider range of variability in responses. And that's really what uh, existing literature suggests, uh, particularly qualitative studies where researchers have interviewed young adults or youth and asked them about their perceptions about the role or functions that, that a step-parent has in their life. So I really saw opportunity to explore those questions using nationally representative data sets and some quantitative uh, methodologies really to continue exploring the, the variability we might see in how step parents interact with their youth. And so that's really what I've done here with this study, um, really zooming in on youth who are residing with their fathers and resident stepmothers. I wanted to look at whether or not there were unique patterns of interaction that youth reported having with their resident stepmothers. So using data from the National Longitudinal Study of Adolescent to Adult Health, I looked at data from wave one, which is admittedly a bit, a bit outdated, but has uh, other advantages. And I looked at a sample of, of 295 youth that met uh, the inclusion criteria I was looking at. Now at wave one, youth were asked a set of questions. They were asked, whether or not they had engaged in various interactions or activities with their various parental figures in the last four weeks. And these interactions or activities ranged across several domains, including recreational activities or, or interactions, more personal communication interactions, more academically oriented interactions, and more disciplinary interactions. So using a method called latent class analysis, I was able to identify four distinct patterns of stepmother youth interaction that I labeled versatile and involved, casually connected, academically oriented, and inactive. So after identifying these four distinct patterns of youth stepmother interaction, I looked at uh, whether or not pattern membership was associated with the quality of various relationships youth had with their various parental figures, their fathers, resident stepmothers, and non-resident mothers. I looked at indicators of youth well-being in the form of self-esteem and depression and, and delinquent behavior. The results indicated that youth can fare well in terms of, of their adjustment across multiple different patterns of youth stepmother interaction. In other words, one size does not necessarily fit all when it comes to youth adjustment. Same story for step family relationship quality. Relationships can seemingly fare well across multiple patterns. The one exception was perhaps not, not surprisingly the inactive pattern. So patterns marked by disengagement between youth and resident stepmothers were associated with lower step family relationship quality lower levels of youth adjustment. Importantly, these data are cross-sectional, so we really can't make statements about uh, the temporal ordering of these variables or causal linkages. We simply can note whether or not there appear to be associations, and we can posit that perhaps these are bidirectional. In terms of practical implications, I, I think the, the findings from this study uh, re-emphasize something that existing literature has been pointing out, that step-parents can take on a variety of different roles and functions in the lives of their stepchildren. And I think it would be advantageous for practitioners to take time to understand how a step-parent fits into a particular step-family system and what roles and functions might be optimal for that particular step family. I hope if you are watching this video abstract, you get a chance to review the article. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me at any time using the contact information in the article. Thank you very much.